This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're on the road. We're going to Oldham near Manchester. Let's see. I'm joined by Hamza Shiraz. How are you? All good yourself? Very well. Having a bit of car problems, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Got off the uh, service station, and you've got what? What have you got? It's the um, go and get them. A boxing, boxing magazines, and a bunch of donuts, mate. Bunch of donuts. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Obviously, off camp, had your last fight at the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I know we caught up briefly afterwards, but just talk to me again about how it was at the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, no, it was a good experience. Like, like we were just chatting about, the venue itself was mad, innit? Mm. Yeah, but um, no, it was a good performance. On to the next one now, so yeah. Yeah, dispatched of uh, Rod Douglas Jr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in quick fashion, um, no messing about. Did you watch the fight back at all? I watched it on, on Instagram on the highlights and that, but not really. Just that's the, that's history now, do you know what I mean? But it was like you said, it was more it was different this fight because I've never had someone actually give it to me a bit, so it motivated me a little bit more and I got the job the job done better. But yeah, so on to the next one like I keep like I keep playing. Some very high praise uh, from David Hay and Steve Bunt. Yeah, yeah, I see you that. You must be happy with that. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good to have a bit of um, analysis because the last two fights on on, on um, BT Sport They've been alright, but I've had journeymen who've come to like more survive than anything. Mm. And this time I had someone coming to actually try and knock my head off anyway. <laughs> when did you sign with Frank Warren? Right at the start? I signed on my 18th birthday. Wow. My 18th birthday, yeah man. Because I was, I was boxing amateurs and I was meant to get picked for the Commonwealth Games. Mm. But I didn't end up getting picked. And like I said, it was just like, it demotivated me a bit. And then I went into, I was doing an apprenticeship. And then after that, I um, sat down with my coach and that near term pro. Thought, thought it was the best option at the time, and to be honest, yeah, it, ain't, it wasn't. It wasn't the worst decision. That's some uh, 18th birthday present, though. No? Yeah, no, it was mad. I actually, like, signed my contract on my 18th birthday as well. But at the time, I didn't know like how big it was. And then on my debut at the Copper Box, when I saw the change between the amateurs and the pros, that's when it hit me like, rah, mm. this is it now. Why did you turn over so young? Like I said, because because uh, I was meant to box in the Commonwealth, but then I didn't get picked, and I knew after that I wouldn't get picked again. And going the scene is, I just amateurs wasn't appealing to me no more. And I, I didn't want to go the Olympic route because I, I don't know. I just didn't want to. So yeah, I turned I turned pro, and that's it. Yeah, I've like seen. Just want to pick up on what you said. You didn't want to go on on the Olympic route. Yeah. To talk to him about why, because that's it. A dream for some fighters. It is a dream for most fighters, but I don't know. I just never, never ever appealed to me. But um, yeah, it, it never appealed to me. And yeah, just being being a world champion, winning like a WBC green belt. Do you know what I mean? That that is what appeals to me. So I think that's why I turned pro. Like okay. most likely, yeah. Does Frank Warren speak to you much, or not really? I've seen him. I've seen him a couple of times when we when I go down to the office, and that is a good. I am by a thing, but yeah, you know, you know who I am. And after my last fight, uh, I was chatting to him afterwards, and it was all crazy. So, yeah, it's all good. Now you've got an announcement for us, haven't you? April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh. That's it on the undercard of Daniel Dubois. Yep. You got Archie Sharp on the card. Mm -hmm. It's a good card. It is a top quality card. Lerone Richards Lerone fight Richards, Tommy Langford. That's a good fight. That's a very good fight because he ain't been out for quite fight for quite a long time. So yeah, no, that's a good fight, and um, hopefully, it'll be another good win. I asked you this after uh, the Rod Douglas Jr. fight yeah, as well. Yeah. When do you think you're going to make your first proper step up? Be it this year, next year? Whenever, really. I don't. I don't have really have a time date, but I think aiming towards titles and that end of the end of this year, maybe the start of next year, because I won't be fighting journeyman for the rest of my career. And plus, like I said, I want an honest, I want an honest, on an honest career where hopefully I feel my full potential. So southern area, maybe at the end of the year. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know who's got it now, but. Whoever's got it, do you know what I mean? All right. Talk to me a little bit about your life in general outside of boxing. What does Hamza Shiraz get up to on a daily basis? On a daily basis, it's if I'm not training for a fight, it would be it would be training again. But also supporting other boxers as well. Like like right now we're going to support um, Akif Akif Fiaz, Fiaz pro debut exactly, under yeah, Jamie Moore. Exactly. So do you know what I mean? It's not all about myself at the end of the day. It's about Getting, getting, your, getting yourself out there, getting your name out there, do you know what I mean? Like how we're doing this interview right now on the road, do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, no, supporting other boxers, learning the trade and just, yeah, be, being around boxing in general. So I'm, I'm always, boxing is basically my life. Nothing outside of boxing? Outside of boxing, 
apart from my mates and that going on holiday and whatnot, <laughs> the usual. Yeah, that's it. You going on holiday this year? Uh, I was meant to go. We were meant to go to New York, weren't we? But I'm fighting on the 27th now. Oh, for Crawford Khan. We were meant to go for the Crawford Khan. That would have been a good experience, but but it's not meant to be. So yeah, we'll go whenever really. Do you think he has any chance against Crawford? Yeah, hopefully. I think I think he'll win. To be fair. You think Khan yeah, will win? Yeah, yeah, I think he'll win. It's a hard fight, very hard fight, but. I think I just have a feeling, do you know what I mean? Gut, you know when you have that gut feeling? Okay. I think I think it will do it, yeah. Alright. But on points I'm assuming, yeah? Most probably. Most probably. I reckon he'll take the early rounds and then the latter rounds will get harder, but I reckon he'll pull through and nick a close points decision. Okay. Yeah. That's my prediction. What about yours? I'm, what not, you I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's uh, Ali Mahmoud. The legacy fight, the legacy fight. <laughs> TB Promotions. WBO, the new WBO champion is going to be Amir Khan April 20th, man. That's the legacy fight. Ooh, some big predictions here. Watch, yeah, big, watch massive out, predictions. Watch out. We've got to support the brothers, innit? <laughs> <laughs> We're out here for the brothers. No, that's not the only reason. Right, this yeah. has turned slightly awkward. <laughs> 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 uh, in your amateur career? Yeah. You told me you fought James Hawley before. Anyone oh, yeah, else yeah. of like of note? Not really. They're still boxing in the amateur careers now. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're still boxing. But James, yeah, I boxed James. Had a very really, good, good, good fight with him. But yeah, now you got we're on our we're on our pro journeys. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But like I said, most of the most of the amateurs I box are top level amateurs right now. In the seniors going on to the world's youth and everything like that. So yeah, not no names as of yet anyway. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all my sponsors, um, Al Safa, Al Safa Rentals for obviously giving us the car to get on, to get here, um, and also I've got Saba Hotels, I've got A1 Bodywork, I've got Westfield Estates, mm. and I've got Hexagon Plumbing Electrical. I'd like to thank all of them, and also a massive shout out to my uncle Armour, my uncle Gox for everything they've done, and yeah, just the team in general really. Couldn't do it without them, and that's it. On to the next one, April 27th. What, did you shout at your dad, Cam? Yeah, yeah, shout at him. He's part of the team, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, how he is the team. How old is he? He is the team. How old is he? He is 46 or 45. He looks about 30, but anyway. <laughs> it's a compliment to him, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, just the last one, I might as well get your opinion on what's going on. Yeah, go on. In, a, in boxing at the moment, we're seeing massive deals being thrown around from DAZN, yeah, yeah, yeah. ESPN Plus. Yeah. Um, what's your take on the whole heavyweight scene at the moment with Joshua Wilder Fury, all on different networks? Yeah. A bit disappointing, really. It is, yeah. Everyone is looking forward to the rematch, Wilder Fury. But to be honest with you, I'm like we were discussing earlier, I'm still shocked as to why Wilder's declined the offer. Do you know what I mean? Oh, the DAZN offer. The DAZN offer, yeah. I don't understand. Maybe there's something ongoing behind the scenes. But yeah, the Fury Wilder, I think, was the most disappointing situation because everyone wanted to see Fury avenge, not avenge because I thought he won the first fight, most, so did most people. But, but have a conclusion. Exactly, yeah. and get that belt, do you know what I mean? But yeah, on to bigger and better things. Do you think we'll see any of them uh, in terms of Wilder, Fury, Joshua I'll say event stepping a ring soon or not? I'll say eventually we will, but it'll be like the Mayer and Pacquiao situation, not anytime soon. So I'll hopefully later on anyway. Alright, Hamza Shiraz, thanks for your time. and. Uh, I'm sure we'll catch up before the 27th. Yeah, 100% cheers, Uma. Cool, man. Thanks.